Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bowl Central. I was recently going through a bunch of old Xbox 360 games, um, and uh, this one stood out to me. I have not played this game in many, many moons, uh, which is which is a way of saying years for all you non-moron speaking people out there. <laughs> many moons. I think. Isn't that just like a movie cliche from like the 50s, many moons? That's, that's bad. Anyhow, this is starting off well. The original Forza Horizon. I have not played it in a very long time. This is a seven-year-old game. Um, but you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it. This is still... This is still a great, great game. Um, you know, it used to be back in the day there were only so many... Uh, claimant to the throne of best, um, you know, uh, simulation racer. Basically, you had Gran Turismo and a couple other upstarts. And then Microsoft came around with the original Forza series, and, you know, Forza kind of reinvented the wheel, so to speak, if you don't mind the pun. Um, and they made, they made, um, simulation race car driving more accessible with two things they added the driving line which you can see here which always keeps you on the right path and they added the ability to rewind the race at any points say you screw up and you want to do a certain tricky turn over again you rewind it right and then something interesting happened they they turn 10 studios reinvented the wheel again their own wheel with this, which is Forza Horizon. Now, I don't know how many people out there have played the newer Horizon games, especially Horizon 4. Horizon 4, uh, I reviewed it when it came out last year, and I gave it a perfect 10 out of 10. I think Horizon 4 is perhaps the single greatest race car game, yeah, driving game, that I personally have ever played. And I played a lot of them. I love Forza Horizon 4 because there's so much content in it. There's so much to do. There's the changing seasons. There's the just the beautiful sound of every single engine and the, and the particular way it drove. And I expected to boot up the original uh, Horizon here and find that the formula had really advanced extraordinarily far, and it really hasn't. Um, the driving in this game is just as good as you remember. Um, the sense of speed, the sense of fun. Again, making making a race car sim accessible. Why didn't anybody decide to do that before? Like I know I know that there's a certain sect of gamers out there who love a really good challenge. And I'm all for a really good challenge, man. But to make something that wasn't very accessible before, super accessible, it was a stroke of genius. And I really do believe that Forza still owns the title for Best Racer. The Horizon series is interesting because it, it basically posits that there's some festival, some in the world, the, the Horizon Festival. And you know you're gonna you're gonna go there and you're gonna compete in a bunch of different events and there's all sorts of side things you can do. You can find cars in barns. They call those barn finds. You know you can bust through signs. See, look at the rewind. See, you can just rewind it. Yeah, I suck at driving. I'm just gonna rewind it. Imagine if you do that in real life, Jesus. Um, and this horizon is interesting because it's the only one that takes place in the United States and it takes place in Colorado which is cool because I'm from Colorado I'm recording this right now in Colorado and though it's not it's not you know a full-on realistic map of the state of Colorado the state of Colorado by the way is just one giant square in the middle in the middle of the country um, but you know, it's got the Rocky Mountains, it's got the Plains regions, it's got the Plateau regions, it's got everything that my home state um, has scenic-wise. It's a little same-same, I'm not going to lie about that, and part of that is the limitations of those old 360 school graphics, but that's another thing about it. I mean, look at this footage, it's still a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. 
Um, Microsoft has updated it with 4K uh, support, which makes it even prettier. But, I mean, if you didn't know better, you would think that this is a straight-up Xbox One game. Just how, just how full and rich, and the character models... Um, that you see in between the races are great, and the actual bodywork on the cars themselves is great. The engines roar. You know, you can feel the suspension rocking around. You can feel yourself almost slip off the road, and you can have the sensitivity on your controller or your racing wheel or whatever you play racing games with to just kind of ease off the accelerator, maybe pump the brakes a little, and stay on the path. It's There's a great tension between too fast, not fast enough, competitive, little bit too crazy, you know, it's all there. And the, the prototype for what has become one of the finest racing games series um, ever made, and continues to be, and I can't wait for another Horizon or another just main entry Forza game next year, I'm hoping, they kind of skip this year, which is fine, let the series rest. Uh, but God, this game is great. If you haven't played the original Horizon in a while, play the original Horizon. It's still really, really good. It's still so, so, so much fun. Forza Horizon, by the way, is a huge modern classic. It couldn't be nothing else but a modern classic. Uh, I don't even really like to drive that much. <laughs> I stay home if I can. I'm definitely not cruising around, you know, 60 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour on these Colorado roads. But that's just me. I don't want to get in a crash. I don't got a rewind button in real life. Do me a favor. Check out God's Body on Amazon.com. It's a novel of the apocalypse. Sort of pseudo-political, pseudo-religious thriller. All fun. Neo-pulp fantasy. Uh, oh boy, it's so much fun. There's a lot of humor in it. I can't sell it any better than that. Amazon.com, God's Body, paperback, Kindle, don't matter how you do it. Just do it. Just do it. Come on now. 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 <sighs>